All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back today to show you how to hook up your Joy-Cons from your Nintendo Switch onto your Windows PC and how to get them working as one controller with a little driver called Better Joy, as opposed to each individually, like you're playing multiplayer in like a little kid's racing game on the Switch itself. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do is actually get this connected to your Windows PC. But the primary way that we're gonna hook these up to your computer that I'm gonna use is actually through Bluetooth. And to do that, we're gonna have to head over to your Windows 10 settings. So inside of your Windows settings, you will find the Bluetooth and other devices window. From here, what you want is up in the Bluetooth things, you got a list of all the stuff connected to your computer. And as you see, I've got the right control stick already paired up with my computer, but now I need to add the left one. So here on the back side is these little lights that tell you if it's paired up or not, and if it's controller one, two, three, or four. And then there's a little button right next to it, and that's called the sync button. It's also on the pro controller, and you're gonna press and hold that until those lights start to flash and go back and forth. Once you've got that going, you're going to click the plus button at the top of the Bluetooth and other devices panel. And that's going to bring up, do you want to add what kind of device? Bluetooth. And then it'll search for active devices nearby that it can connect to. So you can see my pro controller and what we want is the Joy-Con left down here at the bottom. And they're actually labeled as left or right in the devices when you pair them. Now that you have both of these connected, and the right one even shows you that it's connected by having this blue paired light around the home button, you can move on to the step number two, which is to download the actual driver called Better Joy. It's made by David Obot, and it's on GitHub. If you Google Better Joy, this is the first result. And if we log in here, you can find a little bit of information about what's going on. It says it's for the Cebu game emulator, but that just means it's all, this is the version that's compatible with the Cebu game emulator. It also works for regular PC, so don't freak out when you see that. So down here, it'll tell you a little bit about it and where you can go to download it in the releases tab. I will link you to this page in the video description so you can download this yourself. And then you're just going to want to download the most recent version, I'm going to grab Better Joy version 6.4 .zip. And then it'll just ask us, where do you want to put this? And then I will stick this in my YouTube files under tutorial. And then I got a Better Joy folder right here. Then I'll just click save and I'll overwrite the one that's already in there just to be sure. And it's only like 13 megabytes, so it shouldn't take you very long. Once it's done downloading, we're going to open that up in the folder where it's located. Show in folder. And let's delete the old version that I've got right here. And we'll go right click it and we'll go down to 7-zip and we'll tell it to extract to a folder that's named the exact same thing as the zip file. Now I can go inside of here and there's one thing that we need to do before we're ready to open the actual program. And up in under drivers is the Vigim bus driver that's required for this to work. If you don't have it installed yet, go ahead and double click on this and run the installer and it'll rock you through the process of installing Vigim bus. That's pretty standard for a lot of these drivers. Once you're done, you can go back and then we can launch the actual driver. There's another driver in here called the Hid Guardian, which allows you to do some more technical things when you want to run multiple controllers off of one computer. I'm not 100% sure how that works yet. I need to do a little bit more research. Once I'm done, I will make a tutorial specifically about that integration and how to use that with the program to make it even better. So for right now, we're going to go back to the main folder and we're going to find better joy for Simu, it looks like a little pro controller with a red and like a, a green handle on either side. And we're gonna double click it. 
So anyway, once you've got that installed and you launch it, you'll see a screen that looks like this. And depending on what else you have set up on your computer, like if you have Steam open and you have an Xbox profile with an Xbox controller set up in your Steam preferences, it'll suddenly detect that you've plugged in an Xbox 360 controller. That's good, that's what we want. This program, much like other programs, is going to tell your computer that you've just plugged in an Xbox 360 controller because that one has the most compatibility with every single game. That's a good thing. So what you see here is just the default setup. I haven't added anything. And what this means, even if they're not like in the right order so that the left one's on the left side and the right one's on the right side is when they're vertical like this standing up, that means that your controllers are acting as one controller. If they look like this, if they're sideways, that means they're acting as two different controllers for games that have a very simple button input and don't require you to have so many controls on one controller. So you can use it either way by simply clicking on each controller and it'll switch it to the other mode so that now they're in individual mode. And if I click it again, now they're acting as a pair as one single controller. And from here, you can add more details. You can map the special buttons to do fancier stuff. And I'll go into this in f further detail later. And you can add more than one controller, although it seems like it may start to have hiccups with some software when you plug in additional stuff. But you can have, through this software, up to four individual devices, maybe even more. So that, in a nutshell, has been how you connect your Nintendo Joy-Cons to your Windows PC using Better Joy. I'm going to dive into some of the more advanced features and advanced driver stuff that you can use to get the most out of this software. Once I'm done doing that, I will make another tutorial and fill you guys and gals in at home on how all of that works. So if you have any questions, let me know. The links to download this software are in the video description below on GitHub. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.